Hello, and today we are looking at the Nest Learning Thermostat third generation. Okay, so today I'm actually going to start with a confession. I never actually bought this intending to review it, I bought it just simply to repair my heating. However, it has been so brilliant, I thought I'd make a video on it. But that will make unboxing slightly different as it's already fitted. So, in the box, here is what you'll get. Inside the box, you'll get the third generation Nest Learning Thermostat itself, a heat link, a trim plate, a USB power plug and a power cable, which is optional, whether you choose to use it or not is up to you. And finally, a selection of warranty leaflets and instruction manuals. Now, I'm sure you can imagine that there are a whole host of ways that you can install one of these because they have so much functionality built into them. They can do multi-zone heating, they can control your hot water, they can even control air conditioning. Um, not that common here in the UK, but over in the US. I know loads of you guys have air conditioning in your homes, so this will control the lot, which is quite impressive. But for me, very simple install. Just got a combi boiler, needs to turn the heating on and off, just like a switch. So for me, installation was quite easy, but generally speaking, I would recommend installation by a professional. One functionality I do like about the installation of the Nest is that the heat link has a 12 volt output, which then means that I can locate this in the old thermostat location. It's fixed there. It uses the old thermostat wiring to power it, um, which means I don't have to have it plugged in. Happy days, really. The Nest module itself not only has a thermostat in it as you would expect, but it also has a humidistat, a Wi-Fi module and a motion sensor. The humidistat does what it says on the tin really, measures the humidity in your home so you know what it is. The Wi-Fi module allows you to connect to the internet and access this thing from wherever you are via your phone, which I must say is a much better design than its closest rival Hive, which also has a Wi-Fi module near your router and needs an additional plug. This thing doesn't need that, which is um, lastly, the motion sensor, it's on the bottom down here, it's simply used for, well, sensing motion. Uh, when it senses motion, it will turn the display on and it will display the current temperature, the date or the time, whatever you prefer. Uh, and the rest of the time, the display is turned off just to conserve energy. The Nest thermostat itself is a very beautiful piece of hardware and it feels very much like a quality product. It has simple controls whereby you simply twist the exterior to navigate the menus and push down to select. However, Everything you can do here, you can also do in the app on your phone. We found that we only use the device as a temperature display and for adjusting temperatures on the fly. Now, as lovely and as well designed as the Nest thermostat is, the reality is we don't really use it all that much. Everything we do and how we use the system is all on the Nest device, which I will put up over here, which you should be able to see. So the Nest app itself, um, as you can see, it displays the weather, the outside temperature, you can, you can name your home, and if you had multiple zones, you would see the multiple zones here. As you can see, we've only got one in the living room. Now, if we tap into the living room, you can see that the inside humidity is 51%. Is that good? I don't know, let me know in the comments. Um, you can swipe across and tell you the outside temperature. Uh, the current inside temperature is 20.5, which is just above what it's set at. You can tell by the dash at the top. Um, you can also change it from heat to eco and turn it off completely. Um, eco you set up in the settings, which is up in the top right. Um, you can then set a eco temperature. So the default is around 13 degrees, which means it will let your house drop all the way down to 13 degrees before it turns on. So we put ours up to 17 degrees, which is what we, think, we feel is right. Um, you can also, in the settings, turn on home and away assist, which means it will use your phone's location. Uh, if you're not in the house, uh, or if nobody's in the house, um, it will turn the system down to nothing, or turn on to eco, depending on how you've set it up. Um, all sorts of settings in there. Uh, the biggest one to look at, which will turn my phone sideways, which might screw up my screen recording, so bear with me. Um, is the schedule, as you can see here, it's set all itself. Uh, this is the learning functionality. We haven't put this in. It's just registered roughly what we're doing. Um, if you want to change that, you can click into it, and then if you click and, click and drag, 
You can go up and down, and then you can turn the temperature up and down as well. Uh, so yeah, so that is your nest schedule. Um, it's also good to go in and have a look at the history, uh, so you can see how much your heating has been on for, and if you click in, it will show you exactly what is what. But yeah, as I said on the whole, learning functionality is great. The auto off when you go away is also brilliant. I mean, it's fixed our heating. I can't really complain. So for me, it's a massive thumbs up. Uh, I would highly recommend this product. Um, of course, please subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, and I will catch you in the next one.